What's up guys, Crane here from LogicLounge.com. Today, Raspberry Pi announced the brand new Raspberry Pi 3, their most powerful Raspberry Pi yet. It boasts a 50% speed boost over the Raspberry Pi 2. So let's take a look at the spreadsheet here and see exactly what it boasts as improvements. It has a quad-core 64-bit processor working at 1.2 gigahertz. This is the first time, by the way, that a 64-bit processor has been input into a Raspberry Pi. It has 802.11n Wi-Fi, which is fantastic. A lot of people have been wanting Wi-Fi, and now it's here at 802.11n standard Wi-Fi. Bluetooth 4.1, 400 megahertz on that video card, one gigabyte of SD RAM, all for the low, low price of $35, which isn't a bad price at all once you think about how small it is and what you're getting with it. Now, a lot of people will jump on the bandwagon and complain that, well, let's take a look at this. It only has one gigabyte of RAM. That is not a lot, and we've been asking for more. It's been there for a very long time now, and I would tend to agree with him. I am sure that a lot more RAM would do the board good. Maybe even just bump it up to two gigabytes, maybe three or four gigabytes, but one seems just not the standard nowadays when it comes to any of these small boards as well as the ethernet is tied to the USB controller, which could cause some problems down the line when you're messing with the USB controller and having to have it push all the data from both the ethernet port and through the USB port, as well as the Wi-Fi is only single band, meaning it's not gonna be as fast as other Wi-Fi methods, so it's gonna be limited on the speed that it can transmit. But you really have to think about this. Raspberry Pi was made as an educational tool, and it still continues to boast itself as an educational tool, meaning it may not have the latest and greatest, but it is still adequate for where it is, Plus, the people who make the Raspberry Pi want it to be backwards compatible. With over 8 millions out in the market, there is going to be some sort of backwards compatibility that they're going to want there. And apparently, this is how they want to control that down the line. So I can kind of see where the makers of the Raspberry Pi is coming from. But on the other hand, I'm always on board with more RAM, more CPU power, more power in general. It still does not take a lot of power to run this, even less than an amp to take the Raspberry Pi 3 under load, it will take uh, from the energy, so which is fantastic. So it's a low power device. It's something that if you're looking to get into anything electronics related, consider picking yourself up a Raspberry Pi. If you wanna get it, there'll be a link in the description down below. But let me ask you this, do you have a Raspberry Pi yourself? Would you want to get one? What is your favorite thing about the Raspberry Pi? I just asked three questions there, but we're gonna go with it anyways. So be sure to leave those responses in the comment section down below. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in our next video.